now from kneeling on the floor you are placing the feet close and the legs a little bit apart the action will be as before so the outer feet outer shin will press and uh, the rotation of the thighs will be anyways in femurs into the hip socket in such a way the sacrum can extend uh, in the direction of the knees position and then the side of the chest as well will extend in the direction of the armpits and the shoulders roll back from Supta Virasana you are going to create the pressure of the outer feet and outer shin and then move the femur into the hip socket in such a way to lift the tailbone, the sacrum and the hips as well and after you are going to walk inside in the direction of the feet to reach as much as possible the position of the feet or catch the feet or the ankles as well. equipment to simplify as much as possible the pose of Kapotasana. You can see the bolster that is on the sticky mat will help to lift the shin bones compared to the elevation of the feet, the feet will be down. So in such a way that having the shin already up and the feet down will be easier to lift the shin still more to reach the final pose. The bolster will completely support the spine and the neck and the belt that is uh, connected between the handle of the chair and the bolster will help people that have difficulties uh, to reach the handle to catch and uh, without uh, over effort. Otherwise, if it's possible, catch the belt and then the handle or directly the handle. So kneeling on the bolster with the shin on the bolster and the feet down, you are going to place the sacrum on the first bolster, that the one long wise the spine, and then extend by the pressure of the feet moving the femurs in the hip socket direction to extend the sacrum to the knees area gradually extend the side of the chest longwise the bolster until to touch the back part of the scale on the tip of the bolster after that you are catching the legs on the chair plus the pressure of the feet and then as i said you should lift the shin from the support but uh, the um, thoracic spine, the point between the lower tip of the shoulder blade should be on the bar of the chair, the horizontal bar of the chair just uh, below the bolster. After that, keeping the shoulder blades away from the ears and keeping, keeping the neck long, you are moving the arms back and you are going to catch the belt. And after that, uh, you are creating the rotation of the arms in the face direction and moving from the elbows to the shoulder socket in such a way to be able to create space in the back and frontal chest and elevation in that area. And if it's possible from here you are going to catch the handle itself and then repeat the same action in the arms.
and then you can move out from the pose, catching again the legs of the chair, and then gradually move uh, together with the bolster longwise, the spine in the direction of uh, the knees, and then come up. So first you are going inside the, to the equipment. Sitting on the long wise bolster. And then place the other leg as well. So you are sitting on the tip of the long wise bolster and inserting first one leg where the root of the shin close to the knee is on the horizontal bar of the chair that is covered by the blanket and the foot is going to be placed on the belt that was uh, placed as a second horizontal bar that is behind the chair. Then press that leg, press the hands in such a way that uh, you are keeping the balance and then you are going to place the other leg inside in the same way of the first one. Then pressing both the feet and the shin, move the femurs in the direction of uh, the hip socket and elongate the sacrum in the direction of the knees. Press the elbows as well on the long wise bolster plus the hands against the handle and elongate the side of the lower back and the side of the chest in the direction of the armpits and then gradually place the spine on the bolster and support the back of the scale. Continue to press the feet, continue to press the hands to increase the action of before and after that you're going to place the arms back extending but with the action of the upper arms, bones moving in the shoulder socket direction and after that you are going to catch the belt that was already fixed and you are pulling. 